Hi guys, Laura Whitfield here, your independent Sensi consultant with Laura's Aroma Retreat, and I would like to thank you for joining me today. Um, it has been a couple of weeks since we have talked empties, so my poor little basket here is totally overflowing. I need to make room um, by going through these, and uh, that way I can put some new empties into it. So we are going to start with the non-wax products that we have been using over the last couple of weeks, and then we'll go from there. So the first thing up and out is a bottle of our Counter Clean in Blue Grotto. I love Blue Grotto. You will see a theme here in this basket. I was on a bit of a Blue Grotto kick um, lately, but this is like such a great, great fragrance. It's very like citrusy and bright and fresh and springy and Oh, God, I just love it. I love everything in Blue Grotto. So we did uh, manage to polish off a bottle of the Counter Clean, which if you've watched my children, it's really not hard to do. We go through a lot of that. Um, next out of the bin, and I'll start with the, the elephant in the basket, I guess, is some of our laundry products in jammy time. So the teenager is extremely heavy handed on the whiffs and apparently also on the fabric softener. So all of these products are designed, if you use them as directed, to run out at exactly the same time. Didn't happen in my household, but we did go through a tub of the washer whiffs in jammy time. Mm, it's so good. It's so good. It's like lavender and clean laundry. Like it, it's, I mean, we have lavender cotton and I love lavender cotton, but there's just something about jammy time that makes my heart sing. So we did go through an entire container of the washer whip of jammy time. We're going to venture out on the next laundry restock. I did restock jammy time one more time, uh, but we're going to venture out into the land of pink cotton next is what the request is and then we're getting a new one you guys for the spring and summer catalog called palm beach breeze let me, let me tell you a little bit about that i'm hoping there's a description in here so let's see let's see let's see um do they put down what palm beach breeze is in here i need to know i've got to explain it to you guys why i'm so excited hey. I suppose I should have thought of that ahead of time, um, but I've had this sitting here next to me for a little bit. Um, pets, pets, laundry. Okay, so it does not tell me a description of Palm Beach Breeze, but it is coming in all the things. Um, <clears throat> so I do have a description of that. I have a chance to uh, sneak sample some of that starting on Monday, uh, which I will be getting in, but it is going to be coming in the full laundry line, which I'm super excited about, with the exception of the Scentsy Fresh, but that's okay. So, never mind. moving on. I thought I was gonna have something great to share with you guys. Wah, wah, fail. I will have it for you soon, though. Mm. Okay, kiddos are napping. It's time to like uh, up a coffee intake. So we also went through a full bottle of the Scent Soft. I've got like this much left of the laundry liquid, but I am not gonna waste it. I don't wanna just throw it all in here. Um, and then I have been seeing a really, really cool idea because I also use our dish soap and it lasts forever. Let me tell you, I'm still working on Perfect Peppermint and very snowy spruce in the dish soap. So I am going to rob this little pump thing here and put it down into my dish soap so that I can use the pump system on my bottle of dish soap so that it doesn't get all gooky because sometimes like when you're pouring it, it has a tendency to like slide down the side. So I am totally robbing that Scentsy hack now that this bottle is done. Um, next out is one of the dryer discs in jammy time. So when you're doing the laundry love bundle, right? They give you four of these, four of these. Um, this still smells like, like jammy time. It still smells good. It's still got fragrance inside of it. I would say it's not as strong as it was initially when we first pulled this bar out, but I am only on my second bar out of the, the, the pack of four. So I love the performance on our dryer discs. I love how long they last. These things are just wicked awesome. Um, next out, uh, we're gonna go with some car items here. So this is a car bar in Blue Grotto. I told you, I was feeling Blue Grotto in the last couple weeks. Actually, this has been my car for probably about a month, but so 
what I did was I initially put this in and I really feel like these are like these work better in the summertime when they're heat activated. Um, <clears throat> there's something about the heat applying to these bars that helps like, I don't know, disperse the fragrance or dispense the fragrance. Like I can still smell Blue Grotto on this. It's not very strong. So I do know this car bar is done, but what I have been doing for the winter and especially because if you know me, I leave like once a week. <laughs> so um, we're very, very homebound here with the kiddos. Uh, you know, partially Corona, partially mommy has a meltdown if she has to take the two children out by herself and spend the 45 minutes getting out the door. Um, so I tend to wait till daddy's off, but um, I got one of our mini fan diffusers and oh, I gotta show you guys these, they're coming in new cool colors. Um, where are they? I know I saw them. Like I have, I have the gray one, uh, I'm gonna need to change. Okay, so these are our mini fan diffusers. I have this gray one here. I need silver. That is so cool. They're coming in metallic. Okay, so anyhow, I'm getting off track. So these are fit perfectly in the cup holder in the van. They have a little USB plug-in, so it just plugs in um, just like your phone charger. And they've got this little fan down here on the inside. So when it's plugged in, uh, what you can do, and, and you see here in the photo, right? You just, you just pop the pot on top. So what I have is, them I have that in my van so when I am in the van I just pop the pot on and it disperses the fragrance throughout the van while I'm in it and when I get home I take the pot off the fan diffuser and I put it back in the clamshell that way because I'm not leaving again for another two to three days I'm not wasting my fragrance for it to sit in the driveway so but I will say the combination of these two is really, really good. So when I get in the car, there's still like that hint of fragrance um, from the car bar. And then, you know, I pop the pot in and it gives it a nice boost while I'm in the vehicle. So the car bar helps keep that fragrance in the van, even when I'm not in it for days. But the pod, like I said, really kind of boosts um, the scent of everything while I'm on the go. So that is what I've been doing. These are good for 60 hours. So a, a pack of two is good for 120 hours. So these suckers last forever. Like I'm, I'm only now on the second pod in the van. That's how infrequently I use it, but love this mini fan diffuser system. Um, next, since we're already talking pods, <coughs> I did switch, um, from having a mini, um, melter blah, mini melter mini warmer in the main bathroom downstairs back over to the fan diffuser system i had taken it out of the bathroom so i could give that excuse me christmas tree smell to our christmas tree through the pod system um but the kids man they don't mess with any of the other warmers in the house there's something about that mini warmer being in the bathroom where they can like really reach it and it's like you walk in and whoop there it is that just drew uh little miss lena's eyes and she kept shutting it off and she kept messing with it and she kept sticking her fingers in the wax you know thank god scentsy wax does not burn you and you know that it melts low enough or low enough temperature to not you know burn anybody but we went back to the fan diffuser system. So, you know, these are great for high traffic areas. I am gonna get my hands on a second one for uh, that hallway back there, I think. But we, these are jammy time. Jammy time, like I said, is a favorite. There's kind of a theme. Blue Grotto and jammy time was the theme of the month this month, I guess. But we went through the jammy time pods. You can still, like you can smell the faintness of it, but it's not, anywhere near as strong as it was when we first started using these pods. So um, when I first switched back over, I did put both pods into um, the wall fan diffuser. We are currently on clothesline in there. So clothesline is a much stronger uh, like powerhouse fragrance. Jammy time is really good, but it's a little, it's a powerhouse, but it's not like an overwhelming powerhouse. Like clothesline is for sure like overwhelming, uh, smacks you in the face, you can't miss it. Um, clothesline is just really clean laundry, like clean, fresh laundry. It's really good, but I only need one. So we did also um, use the one pot of clothesline and I have the second one sitting in the, in the fan diffuser now. So uh, another non-wax item 
is a light bulb. So I have one remaining Christmas warmer in the kitchen. Um, <clears throat> I, I have my eye on a different one. Like I've put away all my other Christmas decor. But like I can't find, I couldn't find the warmer for the kitchen. And when I had bought this, uh, it's like this Christmas light one. So it's red and it's got the Christmas light cut out. So that it like lights up the Christmas lights all around it. And they're like the old tiny traditional big bulbs. But I have not figured out what I'm going to replace it with yet. So I have had this warmer for like five or six years. I don't think I've ever replaced the bulb on it. Um, or maybe I have. I must have. At some point, I've had to replace it. But it hasn't been, at least for the last couple Christmases. So um, the bulb finally did kick the bucket on me. Um, always like to have backup bulbs on hand just in case. So this uh, got replaced. It got a new bulb. All right. So we are moving on to wax. So I have not been super diligent about changing my wax as much as usual in the last couple of weeks. Um, part of it was because a couple of these last through for a couple of days instead of just like one day and done. And then the other part of it is, I don't know, I was busy with the kids and didn't think about it till it was like too late at night. And then I was like, why am I going to put it in? We're going to bed. So <clears throat> first one out is pumpkin tiramisu. Um, this was part of our gorgeous three-pack bundle. And I was feeling just a bit squirrely. This was like the first bar that ended up in this basket. And it's like a really, <laughs> it's like a really strong like bakery and spice combo. Like I, I melted it when I first got this three-pack the first time um and I was like oh yeah that's okay you know it's very fall like you can tell that there's pumpkin in here and then I you know had gotten a backup bundle before they went away and I popped it in the warmer the other day and I was like yeah I don't I don't really <laughs> I don't really like this so this guy would last two days um I took it out the very next day like I couldn't do any more of it I don't know what got into me and why I, why I put it in there, I was just feeling it in the moment. And then I regretted that decision about five hours later. So not my jam. Um, next one out is black currant bubbly. Oh, I love this guy. This is way more up my alley. So you have really heavy, thick, semi-spicy bakery. And then you've got like this fizzy, fruity, like screwball from the ice cream truck and I know I say it every time but that's really it's what it reminds me of but I love black currant bubbly it's so good this will stay in my club for the rest of its life um next one out uh, is autumn road trip I know I was totally going rogue over the last couple of weeks just a little bit this one is so good so I had done that um you know, a little review of the testers of what's retiring at the end of this month and of course I after going through some of them, I was like, wait, no, I really like that. Yeah, I really liked that. So like I hadn't put it in in a while. And then of course I was smelling it. And then I'm like, uh, yeah, I need, I need to put that in my warmer. So I made it like two days after that last video, uh, before I popped this guy in autumn road trip is so good. And it's, it's like, this is an all year bar. I swear to goodness it is. It's like bright and fresh and appley. And you got just like a little bit of hint, like crisp fall leaves in the background. Mm, but the apple is really your top note in this. So it's beautiful. I love it. Um, I was going to like hoard this one <laughs> until later, like further into the spring. Couldn't make myself do it. Yeah. Mm -mm. Really good. Um, next one out is Cashmere Pear. So this is also part of that Bring Back My Bar collection that closed at the end of January. And this one went into my club and I was like kind of bouncing back and forth with myself. Am I gonna keep this in my club? Am I not? Um, it's staying. I really like it. I have only been melting it in the master bedroom and bathroom. Um. But it's like this earthy, sweet pear. It's like, it's delightful. It's just kind of like earthy and sweet and so good. So it took me a little bit to go through this just because, you know, in our master, we only have 
the two warmers. So we've got the mini warmer in our bathroom and then I've got a full size warmer on our dresser, but I will have a second full size warmer coming for our bedroom as well. Um, just because um, my husband has seen the uh, service and sacrifice warmer and the other one we have in our bedroom is, is the army one. So it's a, it's a newer um, army one with the soldiers all around it. So I promised him when I put my order in on Monday that I would be getting it for him, but it's really good. So cashmere pair, it's going to stay for now. Um, <coughs> next one out of the basket, <clears throat> excuse me, is a red berries and spruce. And please forgive the phone. It's the teenager. She'll live for the next few minutes. Um, so I had gotten, this was one of our sense of the season. And I had gotten a bundle of our sense of the season for myself to kind of sniff through, share with you guys. Um, I had every intention of melting it, but I didn't uh, get around to it before. Somebody reached out to me, had mentioned that they really wanted the sense of the season bundle and that, um, you know, so I gave them mine. And, you know, that's that's really what it came down to. So but in, at the end of the day, this was the only one in the collection. Like I was, I, I have to have it. So I threw it into my club because it did sell out really quick uh, on the individual bars. So I finally got it in my club order the other day and I put it in the warmers yesterday. You can see it's, you know, kind of, kind of juicy. So what I will say is it's a really, really nice scent. It doesn't last very long. So like I put this in late morning and before we went to bed, it was almost, it was like almost gone. So, I mean, the berry in it is very bright. It's very fresh. It's got just like a little hint of pine in the background. So I did enjoy this while I was noticing it, but it got faint quicker than I would like. So eh, it's going to go. They will give me more beautiful things, pine, in the next fall and winter catalog. So uh, next one out, speaking of beautiful things, pine, lavender, and white balsam. This, mm, this is a good one, you guys. So this um, is really just lavender and pine, but it's like a white pine. Mm, it's beautiful. So this is not, I, let me, how do I spray this? This is not a kick you in the face fragrance, but it is a powerhouse all at the same time. So this particular bar right here, I have been using upstairs, but like if you walk down by the bottom of the stairs, you can smell it coming down the stairs. So it does perform well enough to kind of seep into the downstairs. But the other thing that I love about this is it plays very, very nicely in whatever else I have warming on the main level. So like, it's not like you walk from one room and you're like, whoa, what is that? Like total different scent. It just kind of blends well um, right in the foyer with anything else I've got going. So I love this bar. Uh, next one out. <laughs> Monsters Inc. Monstropolis. So normally I hold this one or keep this one for the girls' uh, nursery because it really just kind of smells like like grape cool or grape popsicle or or whatever. But they love it and and like on cold I hated this when we first got it in and then I got suckered into warming it. And I'm like, wait, I do like that. Um, but I normally don't have it going through the whole house. Like I like to keep it to certain spaces because. This one is just so powerful. And like, even on like day three, when I'm, you know, changing out the wax, you can still faintly smell it on, on the cotton cleanups. But, um, I let the kids pick the other day and we had Monsters Inc. going through the whole house. So made them happy. We enjoyed it. No big deal. Um, next one out is Gridiron Rush. So this is my husband's top pick. Um, he was off over the weekend, so usually on his days off, I will grab the bars that I really know that he absolutely adores. This one is like, it's it's like fresh cut grass. It's supposed to be fresh cut grass and sandalwood, and it really just smells like men's soap, but it's so good, and he loves it, and so, you know, it works for all of us. So we did do a bar of his gridiron rush since it was his weekend off for this month already. Um, and then the last bar, last bar in the box is a winter berry apple tea or bar in the basket, sorry, is winter berry apple tea. So 
we have been using this primarily in our Scentsy Soak. So the girls love this one. It's like their absolute favorite thing to put in at bath time. I still have not gotten through my first bag, believe it or not. I mean, the two pound bags last forever. And like I snatched two more up in our buy one or in our flash sale. So they were buy one, get one free. And I'm like, I'm gonna need to get some extra of this. We're still not done with the first bag, so I have some extra on hand. We will probably have enough Sunsy Soak uh, for the next year. Um, but we've got a new one coming too, so best berry for the, um, oh gosh, I can't think, for the Valentine's Day collection. Mom might need to get that. I'm, I'm wrestling with myself. Like, we have Scentsy Soak in the house, but I'm like, that's so good. The Sugar Scrub, however, is 100% on my list. So... Oh, God. Winterberry apple tea. It's so good. It's like this sweet, it's like a sweet winter spice. So like the apple is definitely the top note for me. And I think that's what brings the sweetness to it. And there's just like a little kick of spice. I wish that they put like the notes on the packaging sometimes because I can't ever, like I can't remember all of that. There's so much, but I don't know. Winterberry apple tea, wicked performer, awesome, awesome bar. So, uh, folks, that is what we have been uh, going through in our house the last couple of weeks. I would love to know what you guys have been using, what's your favorites, what's something that you would love to try, what are you most excited about, about the new catalog coming out um, in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, I don't know. Just leave me some comments down below. would love to talk to you guys, and I'm apparently going to go fetch them from nap time. So, thank you very much. Have a great, have a great weekend, you guys. <laughs>